Breaking news this morning, we have a live look from 8050 McFarland Court. That is where IMPD is investigating a deadly shooting. Police found a man shot and in critical condition, he was taken to the hospital where he later died. Right now, police are working to gather more information and looking to speak with witnesses. This now makes 151 homicides in the city. That's after an already violent weekend with several shootings and stabbings. Our Leah Blackburn has been looking at the numbers all morning long. Aaliyah, what can you tell us. Well, this morning shooting now continues the streak of 17 people shot throughout the weekend and into this morning. It also adds to the total of now three people dead. Police responded to several shootings in the overnight hours Saturday and Sunday. Early Sunday morning, IMPD responded to two women shot in Broad Ripple and another man shot nearby. Now, at last check, all three victims were recovering in the hospital. It's also unclear if the shootings were connected. Meanwhile, people in the city say the violence is concerning. That's as homicides alone now stand at more than 150, barely seven months into 2021. The amount of violence here in the city is concerning, and I hope that, you know, IMPD can do something to address that issue. Folks have got to understand and learn how to resolve conflict without picking up a firearm or, or stabbing someone or using some sort of violence against another person. Not only as, are you hurting that, that, family, uh, that family that you're hurting, but you're hurting your own family because we're gonna hold you accountable and responsible if you unjustifiably hurt someone. Now IMPD continues to call on the community's help to crack down on violence. They say so far they have received good tips from the public to help find those responsible. Now adding on to the violence, police also reported three people stabbed during the weekend. Of those, we know one person died. In the newsroom, Aaliyah Blackburn, Fox 59 News.